Hey, what's up everybody? It's Mr. Boylan back for some more Lewis structure fun. Another exception, we're gonna look at some expanded octets in this one. All right, we're working with PCL5 or phosphorus pentachloride. Our first step, as always, determine the total number of valence electrons in the molecule contributed from each element. Phosphorus has got five valence electrons to start out. Chlorine has got a total of seven valence electrons to begin with. There's one atom of phosphorus in this molecule contributing a total of five valence electrons. And there's five atoms of chlorine, each of them having seven valence electrons will contribute a total of 35 valence electrons to this molecule. Summing those together, we get a total of 40 valence electrons in this molecule to work with. Step two, divide the total number of electrons by two to get the number of valence electron pairs available. So we've got 40 valence electrons total, divide that by two, we've got 20 pairs of valence electrons to work with when building our Lewis structure in this example. We're gonna build the skeleton of our Lewis structure by choosing the less electronegative element to go in the center. A little trickier this time because we have phosphorus and chlorine. No hydrogen just to easily rule out. So as I look at my periodic table, I find phosphorus, I find chlorine, recognize that phosphorus is the less electronegative of the two. So phosphorus is gonna be my central atom. I'm just gonna surround it by all of the other atoms. In this case, five chlorines. I'm gonna place a pair of electrons in between that central atom and each of the surrounding terminal atoms. In this case, it's gonna take me five pairs of electrons to do that. I've got 15 pairs of electrons left over. Now, I'm checking to make sure that my atoms have an octet. I've got 15 pairs left over. The first place I'm gonna put them are on my terminal atoms. In this case, I'm gonna give three pairs of electrons to each of my chlorines so that they each have an octet. In so doing, I use 15 pairs of electrons and I have no electron pairs left over. Now, as I stop to think about my final Lewis structure, I'm starting to panic. I'm sweating a little bit because as I look at this, I see that my phosphorus atom has a total of 10 electrons or five pairs. But remember, that phosphorus, as well as any element in the third through seventh period, can expand their octets due to those d orbitals. So this is in fact the correct Lewis structure for PCL5. And again, keep in mind those bonded pairs can always be represented by a dash. In this case, our final structure is gonna have phosphorus singly bonded to each of those chlorines. Boom, Lewis structures.